Hey guys, so we are just a few weeks away from the official announcement of the most hyped, the most awaited iPhone 8. Finally, 2014 is coming to an end for the Apple fans. All right, first off, it's time to clear up some confusion surrounding the iPhone 8 leaks with the fingerprint scanner on the back. So this leak came out showing the fingerprint scanner on the back with an ugly front. And this case leaked out as well, which seems like an official Apple case with the fingerprint hole and another leak that shows us the chart of iPhone 8. I have to say these guys are trying really hard, but they have to learn English. Real Apple would never make a spelling mistake. Look at that. Our brightest and most efficient. Efficient, like seriously, this is so goddamn fake. Moving on, the iPhone 8 Mirror Edition has been leaked and this thing just screams premiumness. This Mirror Edition is so eye-catching, kinda looks like the old iPod and the Xperia XZ Premium. The official Apple cases for the iPhone 8 are also leaked as well in different colors, black, pink, purple, sky blue, and yellow. Recently, there's been so much buzz about the copper gold color, and apparently this color will be called as blush gold according to the new leak provided by Venya Gaskin, and this looks absolutely gorgeous. We have a bunch of different dummies showcasing how it will look in real life. Venya Gaskin also made his render based on this color. thing that I like about this is the white slash silverish apple logo on the back. It just looks really good with the blush gold color. Other than this, the black color will also give you the best bezel-less experience because everything will just blend in just like the midnight black color of the S8. Also a lot of iPhone 7s Plus and 7s dummy models have surfaced and we talked about them in a separate video. You can see it's mainly based on the old design so instead of aluminum we now have glass on the back and antenna lines are gone giving it a much more cleaner look. This still looks pretty damn premium but the front of course is still old. We have them huge bezels which is why the iPhone 8 is the one to go for if you can afford it. The rumored starting price for the iPhone 8 is $1,000 to $1,300. With each reports, the price is going up and up. The iPhone 7s, 7s Plus, and iPhone 8 will each come in three colors, black, silver, and gold. The HomePod firmware continues to unveil more of Apple's secrets. We now know that the iPhone 8 will be able to shoot high quality slow motion videos, 1080p at 240 frames per second instead of 720p, thanks to the most powerful chipset on any phone right now, the Apple A11. The code further revealed that the iPhone 8's virtual home button will be resizable and there could be a function area as well. Now this simulation of what it will actually look like on the iPhone 8 shows the perfect perspective of what you can expect. You can see the home indicator takes a full space like a full bar at the bottom kind of like a navigation bar on Android phones which is actually the rumored function area. You will have about 5.3 inch of active display and the rest will be taken by this. Again, it's been mentioned that it's resizable and can be hidden as well. A new concept by Maxim shows how the apps will look like on the iPhone 8. Looks pretty good. The best thing about this is that they're allowing us to do our own size customization instead of just putting their own thing. And now Face ID. Guys, this thing is actually revolutionary. The code has revealed that the iPhone 8 will be able to silence notifications when you're looking at the display, which means that if you're playing games or just using your phone you won't be disturbed by the notifications thanks to the face id actively tracking reading and scanning your eyes and face damn if this face id is as good and revolutionary as they say then it might set a new standard and kill the traditional fingerprint scanner for good like seriously there's no need for the touch id if this thing is miles better they killed the headphone jack last year and now Google is killing it as well as far as the latest rumors go so even though they made fun of Apple like this face ID could be the next big thing that other companies would eventually follow. All three iPhone models will be launched simultaneously at the same event in September. They will feature fast charging through a USB-C to lightning cable sold separately, you greedy SOBs. According to KGI, only 4 million iPhone 8 units are expected to come in the first month. So iPhone 8 is indeed coming on time, but it is coming in a limited amount. Again, we'll see more on this soon. So yeah guys, the iPhone 8 is looking promising with so many exciting features. I can't wait to get my hands on this. Let me know what you think about this. Do you think the iPhone 8 will be revolutionary? And I'll see you soon. Peace out.